Did you know that India had its first Republic Day celebrations in 1930? Well, Republic Day is not just a public holiday, it is an important event in India's history. Here's all you need to know about India's Republic Day. We know that January 26th is celebrated as Republic Day every year, but why was it January 26th and not 27th or 25th or any other date? To understand this, we need to take a trip down history to 1930. January 26th in 1930 was the day when the Indian National Congress proclaimed the Declaration of Indian Independence. The Congress's Poorn Swaraj Divas was declared on this day. The resolution marked the beginning of a large-scale nationwide political movement against colonial rule. In honour of this movement and date, the same date was chosen to celebrate India's Republic Day. A country is known as a republic only when it has the right and powers to choose its own government and leader. January 26th, 1950 is when India got that right and became a republic. So we call it Republic Day. After breaking past the shackles of British Raj, India needed its own leadership for which India needed a constitution. The constitution of India had to be drafted which is the supreme law of India. It lays down everything from procedures, powers, duties to fundamental rights of the government of India and Indian citizens. The constituent assembly which was responsible for drafting the constitution took three years and held their last session on November 26, 1949 when the constitution which was the world's longest written constitution was adopted and two months later, which was January 26, 1950, it came into effect. The parade showcases India's defence capability, cultural and social heritage. India's first Republic Day parade was held in 1950, but it was not at Rajpath. It was held at the National Stadium. 3,000 soldiers and 100 fighter aircrafts were inducted with the armed force in this parade. The President of Indonesia, Dr. Sukarno, became a special guest at the first Republic Day celebrations. 